I think the society that you and I have created is actually interrupting Mother Nature. I think we're getting in the way of her job. There's a warning label on cotton balls. <laughs> Look, I don't want to come off as insensitive, okay? But when I'm in a comedy club, I'm honest. If you cannot navigate the prickly minefield that is a cotton ball, <laughs> fuck you. I know it's harsh. Oh, he's being mean. I, it says do not ingest on cotton balls. Do not ingest. Look, if you eat too many cotton balls <laughs> and you become sterile, good. <laughs> the road and do this and people get mad at me. I come here and you guys are like, that is correct. Yeah. I knew I was fucking right. Mother Nature, we have all these phrases like go green, get back to nature. I'm 100% for it. I think it's one of our better ideas. The one aspect no one's discussing. Mother Nature's not nice. She's efficient. Right? Mother Nature does not care about the individual. She cares about the overall betterment of the species. Cheetahs can run 60 plus miles per hour. You don't achieve that level of efficiency by letting the slow ones fuck. <laughs> slow cheetahs die horny. That's the way she works, you know? Female cheetahs are faster than the males. That makes perfect sense. You want to fuck her? You gotta catch her. <laughs> I don't think warning labels are helping us. There's a warning label on a cigarette lighter. It says, do not ignite on face. <laughs> Let's just say, hypothetically, some guy has a good idea. And he thinks, I'm going to burn my own zits off. Why would we stop him? He takes a lighter, he puts it directly on his chin, gets a big huge pussy burn, singes all of his nose hair, so now snot is running into his mouth, he burns his eyebrows off, and he fucks up his bangs. No woman will fuck him! Mother Nature's job is done. An applause. Are you fucking kidding me? That actually makes me mad. You know how many months I've been hammering away at this in the fucking best western? I do. I'm, I'm not kidding you guys. I do. I do this bit, uh, it, you know, everywhere, right? And people get mad and he's mean. He's mean. Probably because they're slow cheaters. They know it deep down. I don't understand why we would stop someone from burning their zits off. And then, you know, and then you and I interrupt this beautiful, clean process that Mother Nature has established, okay? This lighter guy, he sues the lighter people. He wins $23 million. He gets plastic surgery, fake eyebrows, and matching jet skis. No one learned anything. He gets laid constantly. He has six kids, and now there's seven fucks that don't know how to use a lighter. <laughs> Warning labels are not making us a smarter society. I don't understand it, you know? I think the smarter society is, the fewer laws you need. I'm against any law that protects me from me. <laughs> Idiot. Seatbelt laws, helmet law. I'm against them. I know a lot of people disagree with me, you know? And that's the reason people think this bit is mean. Because they think that I'm talking about killing people. And I'm not. I'm not. I'm talking about... Letting Mother Nature kill people. <laughs> yeah, I also agree with that one. Yeah. I think people, smart people will use seatbelts, they'll use helmets. Dumb people? Slow cheetah. <laughs> it's your choice. Why should, be why should it be illegal to be dumb? It should be allowed. <laughs> I got about 30% of you on my side. We're fucking going forward. We're going forward. I live in Georgia now. In Georgia, by law, Georgia people, yeah, 
in Georgia, by law, you have to have a child seat or a child in a child seat up to age eight. Yeah, look, let's let's put this in perspective. By eight years of age, Mozart had already written five symphonies. <laughs> At age six, Mozart toured Europe as a genius composer. Our kids are strapped into a car seat wearing gloves and a helmet playing with blocks. <laughs> I'm quoting the law in Georgia, by the way. Here's the quote. Legally up to age 8, and they recommend up to age 12. <laughs> Fucking 12. <laughs> if I saw a 12-year-old in a child seat, I would point and never stop laughing. <laughs> that is excessive. <laughs> yeah. My great-grandmother was married and pregnant at 13. <laughs> She'd just gotten out of the car seat. <laughs> I guess my great granddad was like, you're looking good, unstrap me, I want to talk to that one. We seem to be putting a tremendous amount of energy into making sure that we're all safe and almost no energy into making sure that we're all educated. I don't see how this could possibly work out good. We're all going to be alive and dumber than fuck. That's the point of that. And I know there's some people in this room that disagree with me, and I respect your opinion. I truly do. But let me just say this one sentence, and I'll get off your back. You give it eight or ten years. You're going to be shoulder to shoulder with birdhouse fuckers. I don't believe we're as smart as we think we are. You know? And they're really, seriously, there ain't no reason why we have to be as dumb as we is. <laughs> I can't even say that without laughing. No I wrote that. It's a piece of Kentucky poetry. 